Hi, this is Jim Toll with Vishay Opto Electronics coming to you from our studios in Krubung, Malaysia, which just happens to be the place where our four quadrant pin photodiode, the K857PE, is manufactured. And we're going to spend a few minutes talking about that today. But before we do that, I wanted to mention that you can see all of our optoelectronic products at vishay.com slash opto. You'll find infrared receivers for remote control and long distance sensing. You'll find optical sensors, both analog and digital output, discrete infrared emitters, photo detectors, optocouplers, solid state relays and photo triacs, visible and UVA and UVC LEDs and ERTA transceivers. The K857PE is the industry's first automotive qualified four quadrant pin photodiode. It comes in a surface mount package. Each quadrant has an active area of 1.6 millimeters square. The package itself has a height of 0.8 millimeters and it's qualified to the automotive AEC Q101 standard. It's unique in that it does use our fan package which has opaque sidewalls which improves the signal to noise ratio of the system that you're building. And I want to talk a little bit about crosstalk here because when you've got four quadrants or four pin photodiodes in a tight uh, geometry shape, you can run the risk of having crosstalk between one channel and the other, but not with the K857PE. In this case, we're showing 100% of a laser diode focusing on channel one. The output of that channel would be 8.5 microamps. Channel two, which is right next to it, will only have an output of 0.1%. Same with channel three, which is also right next to it, 0.1% output. And finally, channel four would have 0.05% output. So there's virtually no crosstalk between each quadrant. Okay, I did try and pre-warn you on how simple these illustrations are, but the K857PE was originally designed for rain light tunnel sensing in automotive applications. If you can tell where the sun is coming from, you can determine if the passenger or the driver is sitting or exposed to sunlight. You can change the air conditioning control based on that sunlight. You can also tell if you're entering a tunnel or leaving a tunnel using the K857PE. So basically as the sun rises, or moves across the sky, its primary energy will hit one of the quadrants and with that you can determine the direction of the sun or whether you're entering or exiting a tunnel. If you've watched any number of space movies, there's always a docking sequence that occurs. And in this case, you could conceivably use the K857PE as a docking aid. Basically, you'd have a laser on one of the vehicles and you'd have the K857PE on the other and there'd be a feedback loop based on where that laser is hitting the K857PE. And so with subtle adjustments, you could hone in on exactly you know, one channel, making sure that you're aligned with the docking mechanism. So something like this, you'd move around, you'd come in, you'd get a feedback loop and say, okay, you're online for docking. So while virtual reality is still trying to make headways into uh, everybody's living room, there are some very sophisticated uses of virtual reality, in particular practicing surgeries or defusing bombs where it is. Where it, and so the key is, is that you need to have fine precision on the position of the head and hand implements. You need to know exactly where they are in space. And while they have currently some fairly large photodiodes on there, the applications will get more and more sophisticated and where the minor hand movements will be more important to record exactly where they are. So very, very different from the old game of operation. Uh, where you would actually need to know specifically where your hands are uh, in practicing these maneuvers. And finally, the previous three applications had essentially 
uh, an external light source. It was in a more of a, uh, a line of sight application. Uh, that's how we call it, where there was a light source pointing at the four quadrant photodiode. You can also have a reflective application. In this case, for example, you could have an emitter and the K857PE on the same printed circuit board. It could be used for gesture control. Very fine, small movements of your index finger could be detected and you could use it for not only up and down or left and right, but you could also use it to detect an angle uh, movement of your hand. Um, so it's uh, not as simple as I make it out here. It's quite uh, sophisticated math that goes into actually making this happen, but it can be used in this type of an application. So that's the K857PE pin photodiode, four quadrant, four channels. It will certainly be used for rain light tunnel sensing in an automotive application, but hopefully the additional illustrations stirred some sort of idea of where you might be able to use it in your application. If you have any questions, don't hesitate to send me an email. And again, you can find our portfolio at vishay.com opto. Thank you for your time.